mother told me Welcome back to another episode of Patriot, Patriot Update. Update. My name is Leslie. And my name is Joanna. Let's get this episode started. Starting off with announcements, our boys volleyball team has a home game tomorrow against Coastal Academy. I hope to see you all there. As many of you have seen, last week was Spirit Week. Monday was Florida Day. Tuesday was Birth Month Day. Wednesday was Frat Slash Sorority Day. Thursday was Wear Any College Gear. And Friday was Red, White, and Blue Day. Thank you to everyone who participated. Also, don't forget Patriots. More will be next Friday, the 25th. Up next, we have another episode of OGHS Cribs. I will be showing you around our newest addition to campus, the Wellness Center. Let's take a look. Hey again, welcome to another episode of OGHS Cribs featuring the Wellness Center. I'm currently outside the Wellness Center and this is how the entrance looks like. It's located between the 300 and 400 buildings. All right. Now, if you wanna come during class, you have to get a pass from your teacher just so we know where you're at. And let's come on in. The first thing you see when you enter the Wellness Center is your and you have to sign in with your ID number. Now moving on to the left, you have a little lounge area with four chairs and a table. You can hang out with your friends, read books, your homework, whatever it is you need. Moving on over here, we have another two chairs with a little table in like a nice cozy corner. And over here, we have another little lounge area. And to my right, you see a bookshelf with several books and a lot of coloring books and all of that fun stuff that you can use. We have another two chairs and a student reading or doing whatever she's doing. To my right, there are three sets of tables with high chairs and a great view to the outdoors. Remember that the windows are tinted, so that means you can look outside, but they can't look inside. We have some pamphlets on this shelf and different types of coping methods. Uh, like you can see some games, some books, some coloring books and some stress balls if you need. And remember that there are some resources here like the Suicide Prevention Lifeline and things like that. And as you can see, the lights are turned on, so it makes the space very bright. And on this side, we can see we have natural light coming in as well. Now that concludes our tour of the Wellness Center. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie, for showing us around. The Wellness Center is open to all. If you want to go in during class, make sure to get a pass from your teachers. And now we have Luol asking people questions about Women's History Month. What year did American women gain the right to vote? 1920. 1896. 1920. 1920. Who was the first woman elected to the U.S. Congress? Come. Harris? Jeanette Reiki. Diane Feinstein. Jenny something. I forgot her name, honestly. Alright. Rosa Parks. Who is the first woman to run for president of the United States? Uh, I don't think there's no president. Not know. to run. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Hillary Clinton. No? Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton? Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, maybe? I don't know. Who's the first woman to serve on the Supreme Court? Uh, Judge Judy. RBG. <laughs> Sandra Day, I think. Yeah. Sandra Day O'Connor. Which queen of Egypt was known for her beauty, a religious revolution, and the mother being the mother of King Tut? Um, Luol Tut. <laughs> In 1932, Amelia Earhart was the first woman to was the first woman to uh, fly around to fly around the world or fly yeah fly fly a plane yeah yeah um go to space who's the first oh Rosa Parks no <laughs> hmm Michelle Obama. What was the first state to allow women to vote? 
oh, 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 19. State, how does that? Oh. Oh. Weird. <laughs> New York? New York. I'm just, I'm just gonna guess randomly. I'm gonna say like a random state like Wyoming or something. Oh, California. Thank you to everyone who participated in the Women's History Month trivia. It's important that we acknowledge all of the accomplishments that women have achieved in the past and continue to achieve today. Up next, the hashtag OG Patriot Pride shout out of the week goes to Axel. Patriot, make sure to keep using the hashtag OG Patriot Pride to be featured on our next week's episode. And with that, we'd like to wish you a great rest of your week, Patriots. That was your Patriot, Patriot Update. update.